Uh, hi friends, this is uh, Steven from Coastal Film Lab. I'm here with uh, Joseph of Joseph Wyman Photo. Is that Joe. accurate? Yes, okay, Joseph that's Wyman, accurate. yeah. All right, uh, he's gonna show me how to do a tin type today. Hilarity is going to ensue, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully, it, with, his, with his wise instruction, I will be able to correctly pour a plate and expose it correctly and develop it correctly without too much issue. Um, if not, we will have some, some fun uh, shots of me of messing up. So either way, let's uh, see what happens. Cheer! So narrating this process a little bit, he's working on dialing in focus now. I have to stand perfectly still because Basically, as soon as he has focus locked and puts his plate in, he can't see what I'm doing anymore. And I have to make sure I'm in the exact same spot for it to dial in and look perfect. Uh, one of the first things we do while the chemistry, uh, the plate's in the silver nitrate, is we set up the framing, make sure that we know what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. So it just makes it easier in all the parties, and uh, it's uh, an effective use of our time. Okay. So that's what we just did. Uh, so now we're going to pour the plate and drop it into silver nitrate. Mm -hmm. So what's happening now is I'm pulling the plate from the silver and fill, uh, loading it up to a film holder. Okay. We so pull it out, which is a milky white. You want to wipe the back off from the excess silver. And you have it sitting flat just out of convenience, or does it need to sit flat? Just sitting flat just for convenience, uh, but also make sure when you bring it out that you don't like rock it or shake it. Right, right yeah. Remove the silver across the plate and it could mess up the shot. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and bring your body posture towards me here. Okay. And then bring your nose right about here and then eyes back to the lens. So we're gonna bring this back here and we're gonna make sure that um, the main light isn't reflecting your glasses real quick. Yep. Bring your nose just a little bit more that way, right there. A lot, go back that way. And then, perfect. Keep staring straight, I'm gonna get a focus on both eyes here. Right there again, also uh, put your feet shoulder width apart. Give yourself a good base. There it is. Keep staring straight, here we go. Okay, so he's getting the focus now. Right there. And I'm gonna try to like not make a goofy face. I would like to do, turn your body posture more that way, completely, and then, yeah, there you go. That's it, right there. Mm -hmm. All right, do not move right there. You're going to still for us. We're going to get a focus, and we're going to load the plate holder up, and then take the shot. Keep staring straight. Keep staring straight. Keep staring straight. Three, two, one. Jump! Wow! So there's the shot. Okay. I'm watching through a red window that he has in the his little portable darkroom. The collodion is completely not sensitive to red, which is why this works. He's going ahead and developing it now. So Steven, this is how you do it here. So you want to start, the plate goes in here, there's a little space right here. Mm -hmm. You want to pour it straight down on the front. And then you want to catch most of it to keep the developer moving constantly. I see. Here we go, ready? Four and go across. Keep moving on the. This helper trick is going to help you keep most of it on the uh, tray. Okay, and you're doing this mostly by eye? Yes. So, what you're looking for is the darkest detail or shadow detail coming up. And so, you just developed it for just like a second there. It wasn't very long at all. No, it's pretty quick, especially with my developer. Okay, I can see the image there already. I also had uh, the light pretty close to this. Fair. So right now we're just rinsing off the plate and stopping the developer. And we'll put it into another stop back and we're going to bring it out to fix the plate. Wow! It's my face! across the plate don't like try to catch it right, right, right. Just, like, yeah, yeah just, just let it go it just enough and but uh, before it even gets there start going down this way okay and then it'll flow to that edge yeah and you want to flow to this edge and back in the bottle I'll probably take the bottle and the plate from you yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's that sounds perfectly fine so that we're, we're not uh, 
So you'll be holding that with your left hand. All right, we need to take this off first, yes? Yes. Send it. Woo! <laughs> cap here and take that off for you. Okay, like okay. Said, you're going to be pouring. No pressure. So I'm going to hand it, hold it out in front of you like this. Yeah, yeah. Vertical this way. You're going to pour right about here. Mm-hmm. And then go right, this corner. Left, 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 right. Okay. Right, left. Left. All right, right, no pressure, right? And then how much am I pouring in? About four quarters worth of volume. So it's I feel like you needed to say the like milliliters worth of liquid. Okay. So it's like, um, gosh, that's a good. Uh, you're pouring. It, uh, how much like a dollars worth of quarters stacked together? Well, the stack. I'll let you know. Are you ready? Yep. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there. Good, good, good. And then back into the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Yep. Oh boy. Okay. That sorry. was good. The plate's covered <laughs> and it's evenly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For your first plate, that is beautiful. Okay, sweet. So we're gonna whisk the plate from the um, the extra. Okay. Because you don't want to drown out the silver with all these uh, iodine and uh, floating here. Okay. Then we're gonna drop this in the silver nitrate. That was a good pour. That was good. Okay, we got it on there. Nice. Plopping in there, and then do you have to close this up so that you can take it out? I assume now and put it into yeah. the. So here's a bit. I will have to. Okay. How long does it take to sensitize? Uh, three and a half minutes. Okay. So we got three minutes to work on the actual getting you in there, and then. Yes. So we're gonna set up the shot now. Make sure then, however you want to photograph me, and then uh, we'll come back in here. I'll load the plate for you, and okay. then bring the plate out to you. Okay. Sweet. Now I get to try to remember how to uh, shoot an eight by ten, or well, with a four by five reducing back in this case. You know a lot more about the sensitivity levels of this than I do, so I will trust it, your judgment as far as yeah. <laughs> where yeah, exactly it should be placed. <laughs> so I'd probably bring it down a little bit, but then like how far, how much of me? Well, I was gonna try to get a little bit more, and can we pull this? Is, yeah. Pull this down, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I know it's doing a bit less then, but that was why I was. I was gonna have it a little more overhead so that it okay, hopefully yeah. will. Like so. Yeah. Are we gonna get enough power if we do doing it this way? About to find out. About to find out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so there'll be enough. Okay. So the fall off is probably right about right here. Like okay. it'll hit this enough to get some shadow. Okay. All right. And then does this mean we're gonna have to just overdevelop a tiny bit to get the shadows a little bit lighter? I wouldn't. So for these shadows, in your mind, you should just hurry and cancel that uh, out in your head and worry about where the, the main light's hitting. Okay. So because I'm already wearing green. It's gonna just—it's yeah, gonna, gonna be gonna black. Oh, okay, I see. I understand. So this is this is just gonna be black. Don't worry about it. Or is there at least gonna be some detail there? Yes, there's gonna be. Okay. Because I was hoping we could get some of like the stains and crap, but maybe yes, not as much. You'll see some of this. Okay. White parts. Uh, this green will pretty much come up as a, a gray. Okay. Um, so you'll see some something happening, but all right. definitely already. Yeah, because I because that was what I was kind of excited about was just like the whole you know all your yeah. you got all your texture and detail and stuff of so I definitely wanted a little bit. Not just your face, so that we could see a little bit more of, hey, this is what he's doing, kind of thing. So, that's the goal. Um, I just figured out that was the goal now. So, no, hey, we're professionals here. I'm gonna go under this cloth now and do this. Yeah. So that's basically the framing I'm getting. We'll, we'll see if it works out. So we're gonna go ahead and do this for real now. I'm gonna go ahead and get my focus. Hopefully, focus accurately with this. I'm gonna take my glasses off because I'm blind and can't see up close. Uh, maybe I need them on. I can't tell. Up close, it's always a so crapshoot. the lens cap's on right now for, for you? Yeah, yeah. So that, that would need to come off before like we can focus it. Hands up or like this? Hands up on the... Uh, I, I thought that was, was nice because you can see more of the vest. <laughs> you just had an extra glove hanging out there. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. All right. So now you're right. I, that's, I'm also not used to that because I'm used to the uh, 4x5s where you have a little switch for that purpose. But hey, taking the cap off works too. All right, so now we can go ahead and we will get our focus here. I would say I'm going to cheat this a tiny bit over this way. OK, I think we are more or less focused now. Are there any other things I need to lock down on the camera besides putting the cap back on? <laughs> Very important. <laughs> All right, so we'll put that cap back on like that. And let's see what else we've got here. We'll get our head, our plate in. Scalped part back. Okay, that's in there like that. Let's make sure where our cap is on in a way that's easy to get off. I am going to get our pocket wizard here. Pull that out. I'm pulling the front tab out. 
OK. And three, two, one. Yeah. Hey, all right, sweet. <laughs> OK, now we'll go ahead and put that back in. So let's not, not screw up that part. All right, plates back in. I really okay. wanted to go, yeah! <laughs> I was like, yeah! <laughs> well, that's loud, so this audio is not too much. So this is okay to open now. This is fine, right? Wow, this is really bright in here. Yes. I'm, I don't know why I didn't, I assumed it would be otherwise, but... So this is the correct... So you want to put this up here. I want to get this ready for you. Okay. And then so, I pull the plate. Oh, wait, wait, no. Plate no, on the right side. That. No, no, no. That's, this is the side we want? Yep, pull it. Oh. Pull it, oh, yeah, right there. Yep. Take pull this that plate out. out. Yep. Oh, you have a holder and for then, it. And uh, go ahead and plop the plate into your hand. There you go. Okay. And then that will go Ooh, here. You have an image on there. Or soon to have an soon. image. Soon. So here's okay. Really, here's, really, make sure you do it okay. relatively over the uh All right, tray. so again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it slightly like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bring it, and bring it back towards your body a little bit right there. Yeah. And make sure you get it in the... Yep. There yep. you go. And remember, bring it back here. To the edge? Yeah. Okay. And then just a slow, gent moderately speed pour? Yes. There it is. All right, pick up the water. Pick up the water. Pick oh, up the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, the, keep it right here. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Keep it moving. And right about. Now? Yeah. Dump. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Leave no, it. No. Keep it in your hands. Keep oh, dumping yeah. the water. Just dump the water. No, no, dump the water on the... Oh, sorry. Uh, ah! So you want to hold this and dump the water on it. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then All we're right. going to take that out. Okay. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to try to make sure we save it a bit. Okay, okay. Save it. Save it for me. Save it for me. You can do it. So we're doing a second rinse real quick. Okay. See where the... <laughs> so that was, that was, was, a, <laughs> a little, little too light. It's okay. It looks great, though. I'm doing this a little too. I'm being so. I'm being so gentle that I'm like, oh no, it's. It, you have to just go quick with it. Okay. All right. Yeah. So next so time. I, so I can just dump the water on it and it's no, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I'm like thinking I have to be real gentle to it. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. So that was way overdeveloped. No, actually, I mean, it looks like it's a pretty good negative in here. All right. So. Um. So we'll see. As you can see, like right here. It's a little, little funky. That's yeah. where you kind of miss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that, oh, no, I so wasn't quite getting the edges of it right. Okay. Go ahead and see how that uh, somewhat mediocrely developed plate comes out here. <laughs> so, so this is our water, and then this will be our fix. Yes. So when you fix it, it's going to be there for uh, less than like seven seconds. Okay. So a very, very short fix time. Yeah. So we're going to throw, we're going to grab that plate and throw it into the water and rinse it real quick. What happens if I leave it in the fix too long? So with this kind of fix, it'll continue to keep fixing, and it'll actually just turn black. Oh, OK. So we don't yeah, so we don't want to do that. Don't, yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll just even, so fixing slightly too long will just block up the shadows then? But yes, you could potentially save a shadow with doing that. Oh, I see, by just fixing it for less time? Longer time. Longer to time. To fix the shadow. Like if you oh, see, so if you back, wanted a, a darker black because I maybe overdeveloped a touch. Yeah. So so if you, can you tell from this plate if I've overdeveloped or, or let it, it no, th it's, this is going to come out too bright or this is going to be okay, but maybe just a little uneven? This is going to be right where you need it. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to throw your finger in there, grab the plates. Okay. Um, you're going to place it into the white tray here. So I'm going to pull, I'll probably pull from here. Okay, just enough, he says. Keep Tell going, me when. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, that's plenty. Okay. And then agitate the tray. Okay. And then tell me when to stop because I don't know when to stop. That's pretty good. Go ahead and uh, take the plate out for the water, let it drip. And then go ahead and throw it into the wash. Okay. Woo! Good job. It's a plate. <laughs> amazing. That's my face. It's amazing. Clearly, there's some. That's some, just fingerprints. Some small. Oh, this is fingerprints? Yeah. Okay, so I was touching the corners in, in, my, in my nervous. Potentially. Nervousness. Good job. Board. So you kept missing out on this part right here. Oh, I see, I see. So okay. you had to keep like, it, the developer. Uh, I see, I see. That's the huh. only reason that's there. Okay. This stuff on the edges, don't worry, it does. Well, there you go. It looks, but it looks more properly wet plate now because I screwed it up a little bit. Isn't yeah. that right? Yeah. <laughs> so that, He's that, like, no, don't. No. That comes right off. <laughs>
my thoughts and experiences filming with you know, basically learning that whole tintype process with Joseph. And it was just a really, really amazing experience because so the difference between having somebody like Joseph teach you how to do a tintype versus just buying a kit off the internet is that I get to skip straight to the having a good one phase and, as, and get to just completely not have all the chemistry and just general technical problems that you have of just figuring something out on your own. Um, tintypes especially are just extremely, extremely difficult to kind of just get right from the get-go. Um, everything from uh, getting pouring the plate to getting the collodion seasoned correctly. You know, you usually will have to add a bunch of components to it to make it um, have the right consistency to be able to pour right and also have the right speed so that it's easy to expose. Being able to use somebody else's collodion that's just in perfect condition and is just, you know, bang on uh, was such a blessing and made it so much easier. I was just absolutely thrilled by how good my first tintype came out um, and that was exclusively because of doing it with an absolute master. My highest recommendation for if you're going to consider trying to take on this process is find somebody local to you that teaches workshops on how to do what plate photography and go learn from them. That's going to be the best and the easiest way to get into that. It really is just going to be much dif more difficult to, to just learn it on the internet. Um, it, it's such a hands-on physical process that just it doesn't lend itself super well to learning it yourself, especially if you want to just get straight to the having good results and skip all the hours and hours and hours of failed plates. So that was one thing I would, I've definitely learned from this experience is that I, I would highly recommend that people go ahead and take a, take a course or take a workshop on doing this. Some other things I've learned from this were just the sheer levels of artistry that he had was just so cool to watch and just the craftsmanship of having, you know, equipment that you've sourced from all over the world um, from, you know, a hundred years plus ago. Um, I, I think personally that's the best portrait I've ever had of myself was the, the photo he took of me, so that was very cool to see. And I think the photo I took of him was also something I was very excited about. Uh, I had also had another photo that I took of um, my lab assistant Alex that was really fun where we uh, took his welder and um, his welding outfit and had took a photo of him holding that and then had to underlight it a lot to be able to get light to kind of shine back up in his eyes and kind of creepy and surreal looking and really came out kind of interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I had such a great experience working with Joseph and getting to learn this process. If this kind of video was informative and helpful to you, please leave a like on the video and comment down below with what you would like us to talk about in the future. Um, please give us a follow on Instagram, that's kind of where we're most active. Um, also give Joseph a follow, his work is absolutely spectacular. We have links down to that below in the description along with the film.